Sponja? No, I'm not busy. What time? What is the address? We, oui, I can be there. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to Stick Boy. What can I get for you today? Uh, can I get a uh, small coffee? Uh, just sugar. All right, coming right up. See something in there? You know, if you stare at it long enough, you might be able to make a move. Hi, I'm Peter. Say what, Finn? Do you mind if I sit down? Are you, uh, you here visiting? No, I live here. Oh, live here. <laughs> How long have you lived here? Three years. Oh, so you've, uh, you've had a chance to get accustomed to our crazy way of living. <laughs> so which is better, America or France? France. I don't doubt that. Between you and me, the, uh, the people here, they suck. Not you. You're beautiful. Say that. Excellent. See, that's why I come here. It's the best coffee in town. So, uh, brought you here. Why'd you, why'd you leave France? I needed an escape. A place to start fresh. Did it work? Oh, uh, you play an instrument? Oh, we, oui, yes. Is that a, is that a guitar? Oh, no, it's a viola. <laughs> yes. Oh, so you, uh, play around here? Oh, no, I tutor. Oh, so you're a teacher. <laughs> Do you teach me how to play? I don't know. Do you play an instrument? Me? God, no, I can barely play the radio. I mean, I have a guitar, but it collects dust, and that's about all it really does. But you know what, I really wish I could play. What's that? The piano. Oh, I loved the piano. See, whenever I was a little girl at the orphanage, there was this girl who played the piano. She played it so beautifully. You, you were an orphan? Oh, yes. But that was a long time ago. I'm sorry. That must have been, must have been hard. Were you, um, were you adopted? Oui. When I was nine. The man who adopted me, Louis Durand, he rescued me and took me to his home in France. He raised me and he gave my life purpose. He's the closest thing I've ever had to a father. He, uh, he sounds like a wonderful man. So, how long have you been playing the viola? Since I was a little girl. It was a gift from my adoptive father, Durand. He gave it to me and he taught me how to use it. Well, you know, I have a friend. He records music. If you wanted to, I could give him your number and... Uh, oh, no, 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 I couldn't. Why? I wouldn't want you to go through the trouble. Trouble's, you don't even know me. It's no trouble. Look, he's a friend of mine. He's a great guy, you know, and it would give me a chance to see you again. Okay. Great. You'll love him. He's a great guy. Mm. 
I have to go. I have, a, I have a really important meeting I need to get to. What is it you do? Uh, I work for the Department of Defense. That sounds important. What do you do? Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> no, it's really not that interesting, actually. I occasionally get to do something kind of cool, but for the most part, I'm pencil pusher. Well, good luck with your meeting. Thank you. Actually, um, you want to meet up after we get lunch? Sounds good. Great. Um, I'll leave you my number. And uh, just call me when you're done, and we'll meet up for lunch. I'll see you for lunch. <laughs> Peter, wait. I have to be honest with you. I'm not looking for a relationship right now. There are things going on in my life, some good and some not so good. But I just wanted to thank you and say that you're a wonderful person. It's been so long since someone has been this kind to me. Just give me a call when you get done and we'll grab that lunch. late. I'm sorry. Are we ready to do this? You familiar with the target? Da. Good. Call me when it's done. Then I'll call Monsieur Durand. Let him know. The job is done. Very well. For now, I leave you, Dasa Dania Serafini. Davidov, wait. Why has this target been selected? You know I can't tell you that. I know. Can you still do this? I can do the job, Davidoff. Good. Because you know what I have to do if you can't do this. Out of all your father's children, you, Serafine, are his favorite. He'd be very upset if something went wrong. I can do the job, Davidoff. I know you can. Remember, call me when it's done. Hey, there you are. I've been looking all over for this morning. Where you been? We got that meeting, you know. Uh, yeah, man. Sorry, I was late. I stopped for some coffee. Where's mine? That's what I thought. Brought something for you, though. I made copies of the reports. I also made sure to include uh, information on that lead we've been following in the Ukraine. I'm pretty sure that'll come up at some point in the meeting. Yeah. Thanks, man. So it gives. Why are you acting all weird? They put something in your coffee? <laughs> You're gonna think I'm crazy. Too late for that, mate. Yeah, cute. I met a girl at the coffee shop. 
Her name was Seraphine, and she was so beautiful. Yet, for some reason, she seemed so sad. Yeah, man, after the meeting, I'm gonna meet up with her and we're gonna have lunch. You met this chick today and you're gonna go have lunch with her. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't wait. Well, who knows, maybe she's the one. The target is dead. Bonjour. 